Good afternoon, everybody. It is Saturday, June 18th, 2022 at uh, a little bit past 12 p.m. It's 12.09 p.m. And it is time for the Angelus and the Lord's Prayer. Alexa, cancel. Angelus Domini Nunciabi Maria et Concedite Spiritus Sanctum. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostra. Amen. Ece in chula Domini, fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Et verbum caro factum est, et abitabit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Order pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in order mortis nostre. Amen. Order pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix, ut dini efficiam or permissionibus Christi, oremus. Gratiam tuum quesimus domini ventibus nostris in funde, ut qui angelo nunciante Christi filii tui incarnationum coniobibus, per passion meis crucem, ad resurrectionis glori perdicamur, Per unum Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater Noster, quia sincelli sanctificator nomen tuum, et veni ad regnum tuum. Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panum nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et debite nobis debite nostra. Sicut et nos dividimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. So I learned a new word, I thought I would share it. I learned this last night. I just maybe I've come across it, but I didn't remember it. So I, I think it is uh, the word kerygma. Let me try to make sure I have enough. Um, I think it's K. Yeah, I keep this thing right here. I've got it right here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Kerygma, and it means to proclaim. Teach, so what was the other word you wrote down here? An announce. And it refers to the, um, the apostolic proclamation of, of Jesus Christ, or of the salvation of Jesus Christ, which basically means the message that Jesus saves. But biblical scholars often use the word to refer to uh, the early, the, the teachings of the early church about Jesus. So charisma, it sounds like uh, charisma almost. Oh, you know what? I misspelled it, of course. It's not charisma. That's what's the great thing about an eraser. <clears throat>
Okay? So does that make sense? Kerygma means to proclaim, teach, announce. It refers to the message, basically, to simplify it. Instead of saying the, op, the, the apostolic, uh, what is it? What, 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 I don't even remember right now. Procl the apostolic proclamation of the salvation of Jesus Christ, which is a big mouthful. It's basically teaching the message that Jesus saves. There's salvation through Jesus Christ. And uh, so I just, yeah, Jesus saves. Okay, and then the term is also generally used to refer to the early church's teachings about Jesus. All right, cut my head off there. There we go. Hey, I didn't even need to be in the picture anyway. So, all right, everybody. Um, remember to brush your teeth, which I'm about to go do right now. I just got out of the shower and such. Um, to say your prayers, or brush your teeth to floss. You know, who says their prayers before they brush and floss here right here? You know what I mean? The philosophy to say your prayers most especially. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you all and peace.